Hi, we're standing here with Steve Poisoner. Steve is running for governor against Meg Whitman in the state of California. Steve, tell us about your race with Meg Whitman and what are your challenges? Well, uh, a lot of people think that Meg Whitman and I are similar because we both come from Silicon Valley and have a high tech background. We couldn't be any different. Our backgrounds are different. Our views on key issues are different. For example, a uh, key part of my campaign is to cut taxes by 10% across the board. She opposes uh, across the board tax cuts. That's a big difference between the two of us. She, instead, she favors these targeted tax cuts where she's picking winners and losers. I just really disagree. My tax cut plan will help every single family, every single business by at least $500 or more. And in the middle of this deep recession, that's what people need. We also disagree on illegal immigration. I want to make solving the problem of illegal immigration one of my highest priorities. I want to stop taxpayer-funded benefits for people that are here illegally. She doesn't want to do that. I am totally opposed to amnesty. She supports amnesty. So and that's another major difference. And finally, even on some social issues we differ, on abortion, I want to, I want to work to drive the number of abortions down to close to zero. I want to stop all taxpayer funded abortions. She supports government funding of abortions, so major differences in policy. Now in background we're really different too. I have 20 years of experience at starting and running companies from scratch and now eight years of success in politics in public sector service as a, as a school teacher and now as the elected insurance commissioner here in the state of California. Meg, a complete rookie, didn't even vote for most of her life. So, you know, really different backgrounds and profiles, but that's what elections are about, choices, and then, you know, voters get to pick uh, which leader to nominate. Uh, Steve, after getting burned with Arnold, I think many voters today are not looking so much as how good the candidate looks or how, what they say, but voters today are really scrutinizing the voting records. Uh, what is your comment on that? Well, I totally understand that voters are cynical. They should be, and skeptical, because there's been so much said and very little delivered. And Republicans and Democrats alike in Sacramento over the last 20 or 30 years have driven this state off a cliff. That's why I really uh, want to emphasize my track record, my 30-year track record of getting things done and my conservative core principles. You know, I believe in individual liberty, personal responsibility, free markets, and lower taxes and smaller government. Uh, Meg Whitman's track record is very controversial and people will need to compare and contrast. I mean, she was a actively campaigning for Barbara Boxer a few years ago, for example. So it's really important in the last uh, six or seven weeks in this campaign for people to learn about me and to learn about her and to compare and contrast. And over the next seven weeks, uh, we're going to be aggressively out there uh, making our case. Well, I have to say your TV ads are certainly effective. Uh, once you become governor, what are you going to do that Arnold failed to do? Well, first of all, my core principles, I'm just not going to budge on them. And I know Arnold tried at one point in his career, but then kind of gave up and then moved on. My core principles, I'm just not going to budge. I'm going to have the tenacity and the backbone to keep fighting and fighting and fighting. California is in a meltdown, the worst economic collapse in 160 years. We have to fix this great state. Failure is not an option. And so, you know, the governor actually raised taxes, largest tax increase in the history of tax increases. I've signed a no tax pledge. In fact, as I just mentioned, a centerpiece of my campaign are tax cuts. So uh, I want to take the state in a completely different direction. I think California is heading in the wrong direction right now. I think Meg Whitman does represent Arnold Schwarzenegger's third term. That's what Tom McClintock says. That's why Tom McClintock's endorsed me. I heard that. Uh, one last question. Uh, we know you're on your way to another appointment. Um, another tea party. Another tea party. Uh, San Diego. Uh, Jan Brewer, the governor of Arizona, either is about to sign or has signed the tough immigration law in Arizona. Do you see California doing anything similar to Arizona? Well, uh, there are 10 states that have passed laws that have cut off all taxpayer-funded benefits for people that are here illegally. I agree with th what those states have done. That's why you know one of the key issues in my campaign is to, uh, is to stop taxpayer-funded benefits. We spend billions and billions of dollars a year uh, supplying benefits to people that are here illegally. We can't afford this anymore. And it's also an incentive, a magnet that draws people here. We need to turn this magnet off. In addition, as governor, I'm going to enforce the rules on, on companies. If a company hires people illegally when I'm governor, I'm going to revoke their business license. If we turn that jobs magnet off, and if we turn the, the benefits magnet off, the taxpayer-funded benefits magnet off, then, then people will stop coming here illegally, and that's what we need to happen, have happen. As, as governor of the eighth largest economy of the world, uh, what would you do, hopefully immediately, to bring jobs back to the state of California? 
nothing could be more powerful than cutting taxes across the board. This is the one of the, one of the first things I'm going to work on is a 10% cut in sales taxes, 10% cut in, in personal income taxes, every bracket, a 10% cut in corporate taxes, and a 50% cut in capital gains taxes. Now that will reduce our extremely high tax rates down to something that's more affordable. Jobs will come back to the state of California when we do that. Well, you certainly have some very good specific ideas, and that's what people are looking for, is something specific, not generalities. It's stevepoisoner.com. That's my website. Uh, if you can go there, you'll be able to read a lot more of the details behind all the plans that I've talked about today. And I do think voters want specifics. They, they've heard a lot of the generalities. What are you really going to do, and what's your track record? That's why I feel so well positioned here. 20 years of experience of starting companies, running companies. I know how to bring jobs back to California. So you've actually met a payroll? I've met a payroll. I know how hard it is. But I've also been successful in Sacramento now. As insurance commissioner, I've been able to reduce my operating expenses by 15% permanently. So I've been able to demonstrate that I can get things done even in, in the public sector too. That's what people are looking for. Problem solvers with a track record with core conservative principles. That's, that's what Steve Poiser is all about. And well, you're absolutely right, and we wish you the best of luck, Thanks sir. So it's nice to meet you. Thank you. See you soon.